I was about to reach Dalhousie and I asked myself how would it feel in this city that used to be Britishers resting nest. Yeah, those colonial rulers who ruled us for a century and a half at best. What I found amazed me and blew my mind away. So let's dive into this adventure without any further delay. After camping and cycling through the wilderness of Khajihar, I reached the city of Dalhousie founded by Lord Dalhousie, the man who placed India behind colonial bars. Now since this place once used to be the holiday spot for British officials, for it is cloudy and cool, I expected an influence of European culture of bygone colonial rule. But, 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 ironically, I witnessed statue of Mr. Gandhi at first glance. I asked myself, is this a mockery or I, in case of history, am a certain fool? But on looking around, with a close glance, you can witness a European vibe, as if the architecture carries the ghost of bygone era and the ones who remained, who still reside. And after this first case, I moved further towards Gurdwara to spend my night and rest. Crossing those retro roads with beauty on both sides and curves of road that put my biking skills to test. At Guru Ghar, I was warmly welcomed by Sevadar and he elevated to his best. I was offered the best room and so with a smile, I put my worries to the rest. ਤੇ ਉਹ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਲੈਪਟਾਪ ਚਾਰਜਿੰਗ ਲਈ ਅੱਛਾ ਉੱਤੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਮੇਰੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੋਏ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਕੋਈ ਸ਼ੱਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਦੱਸ ਦਾਂਗਾ ਜੀ ਅੱਜ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਦਾ ਜੇ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ 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 ਅੱਛਾ ਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਸਭ ਸੇ ਲਈ ਔਨ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਮਿਡ ਡੇ ਆਈ ਲੈਫਟ ਟੂ ਐਕਸਪਲੋਰ ਆਈ ਮਾਈਟ ਹੈਡ ਵਿਜ਼ਿਟਡ ਥਿਸ ਪਲੇਸ ਇਨ ਮਾਈ ਚਾਈਲਡਹੂਡ ਬਟ ਨਾਓ I had the eyes of an explorer that I lacked before. You know I'm going to towards the central market but talking about the city around the locations the localities you get this sort of chill laid back relaxed kind of vibe where you can just sit anywhere have a little bit of peace of mind think contemplate if you're an artist you should come to this place this place is a really good for a sort of meditative space where you can thought about your creative process where you can think about your creative process obviously the monkey just caught my camera you know i just want to take some few shots of mine while keeping the camera on floor but i'm scared that i'll turn around and some monkey might have taken it scary There's something beautiful about the architectures for it holds a retro vibe. It enchants you, keep you staring at homes engulfed in mountains and flowing clouds that blow like cotton tides. You know this store DC Khanna and Sons. It's a pretty vintage vibe kind of store here. It's a general store you can buy groceries and stuff here. But inside it's completely vintage type old school pretty much and uh, yesterday i bought some bread and peanut butter because i was thinking that i want to travel in a budget manner because this travel journey is very long but still i'm spending way too much on food so breakfast and dinner i can do in this manner i can cook myself and very soon i'll be buying butane insert stove as well As soon as I reached Subhash Chowk it hit me hit me once again after Gandhi's statue now looking at Bose's statue I marveled at the power of time once again I thought how the statue of those who were oppressed by colonial rule stood high high in that very place that was named after Lord Dalhousie the man who with doctrine of lapse brought upon us the colonial face Walking a bit further I witnessed a church of St Francis ahead now to be honest I've never been to a church before only in movies I had witnessed and it reminds me reminds me what Amedeo di Prado once said I would not like to live in a world without cathedrals I need their beauty and grandeur 
I need them against the vulgarity of the world. And so, I won't lie, I found the beauty and solace, but it was all between me and the pulpit, as there was no one with whom I could share that solace. So I walked, I walked away like a wanderer I am, to explore the world with you, my friend who's on the other end of this camp. So, back there I met a guy who was really polite, he was asking me what I was doing with my camera, and I told him a filmmaker, vlogger, and he was very curious to know about how I'm traveling, where I've traveled, and all those. Chamba me? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Get lozi ka hi. Lozi ka hi. Ah, ji lozi. Acha, aapka naam? Mera naam Manoj hai, ya. Manoj. Ah, ji, ji. ठीक है. Then he told me that if I want any help or stay, he, I can ask him. We shared numbers, shared stories. So I just want to say that just go out there, guys. If you are planning to backpack. Bike pack or even just travel some simple closer destination. Just go out there. You'll meet nice people. You'll communicate, share stories, and in this way, you'll learn a lot about life and experience in general. Anyways, Gandhi joke is near. Let's continue. Mom had told me that when I was a kid, it was Indo Tibetan market I liked the most, for it was filled with toys to play. So I walked towards its direction. Maybe I would find something to my liking. Maybe a souvenir for this very single day. A nice hemp bag I found that day. Something that holds the burden of wallet and shackles that hold my bike to this very single day. I hiked to the waterfall of Panchkula half-heartedly at first. It was on this hike I felt that perhaps I shouldn't have craved for this thrill. Only if I had knew that Panchkula, this waterfall is so down there, I wouldn't have tried this one, guys. I have very less time today, and I have to edit as well the previous vlog. So, anyways, we have reached here, almost one kilometer left. Let's continue the hike. But eventually things begin to happen and my soul gave out a gleeful shrill. Okay, let's go down there. Let's be very careful. I don't want to break my legs or bones or teeth, anything at all. Let's be really, really, really careful. Okay. guys I thought Dalhousie wasn't gonna be that amazing but it crossed my expectations guys I would highly urge you guys visit this place it is phenomenal yes I witnessed Dalhousie which used to be British officials resting nest and now it's free and filled with zest the culture still holds the blend of bygone days but that's what brings the beauty in certain and many ways and now my friend i think it's wrap for me hit that subscribe button for the thrilling adventures of dead defying decline right where i lost my control on those goddamn breaks and if you feel like supporting our journey you can do via paypal and upi details are in description below